Hi, um, it's been a little while since I've done any, any discussions in philosophy of mathematics here, um, but I've been reading, um, some stuff here, um, and I, I guess I'm basing my study in the, this series of philosophy of mathematics in this book, Think, Think, Thinking About, Thinking About Mathematics, uh, by Stuart, Stuart Apiro, he's, um, what is referred to as one of the uh, bigger scholars of philosophy of, of, of mathematics. So um, basically what I've discussed is I've discussed um, um, Plato and I've, I've discussed like the the sort of um, um, the forms of, you know, mathematical properties and stuff like that, the, um, you see, I've not even done this in a while, I don't even know the terms, um, gosh, um, yeah, forms, which are basically things that are their own beings, and, like, uh, that this, this comes up in the Parmenides dialogue, as well as other dialogues, I have a video um, in this in this playlist, I have a play, this is playlist is called philosophy of, of of mathematics, but basically what his what his philosophy is has to do with his forms, and those forms intersect with you know mathematics. It, that's it, it intersect with his with his idea of, of mathematics, um, and um, mostly that kind of the whole thing is you know easy to understand, but. Um, Go to that video if you want to hear about that. But then we have Arist Arist Aristotelian fictionalism, um, where Plato, what he what he thought was that we have these objective beings that um, that the, the, that were the things we see, you know, um, are re representatives of what those uh, what those objective beings are. Um, Aristotle had had a real different idea. He had a real different idea, and in philosophy, of, in his philosophy of, of mathematics, you know, we have three different, you know, sort of spin-offs of what Aristotle thought. And fictionalism is um, the way I look at that. That's fictionalism is the way I. It, it's my is what I prefer to call his uh, his idea. Um, I have a, I have a video about that also. Um, and I might do I might do another video another video about that because that's I find I find that to be pretty interesting the whole idea of fictionalism in uh, mathematics. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to continue on with this. I, I did Plato and I did I did, I did Aristotle and other I might say more things about them later. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to do. Kant, first of all. Kant is, you know, we have a big huge gap from Aristotle for, through, the, through the Middle Ages and um, things like that between Aristotle and Kant. We have a lot of, not a whole lot of, you know, nothing going on in the philosophy of, of mathematics. And then we have, before Kant, we have the whole um, age of modern philosophy where we have two different schools of philosophy. One is rationalism, one is one is empiricism, uh, and, and um, this provides the perfect stage for Kant to say what say what he says in his critique of pure reason, and um, basically, what rationalism is. Rationalism is the idea that we should base our philosophies off of what reason and logic logic is. Um, it's, it's, and then we have empiricism, which is kind of, that we should base all of our philosophies and all of our ideas off of what we immediately see, and we should interpret that stuff accordingly. Um, so, but the rationalists are people like, uh, Descartes and Leibniz and people like that, and then the, um... Empiricists are people like Hume and, um, as well as others in, um, Berkeley and, uh, Locke. 
but the, but basically what the empiricists um, view mathematics as they view you know they view the world as um, as is that like basically the whole what you see is is, is what you get kind of kind of attitude where um, where in philosophy of, of mathematics you know we get our mathematical concepts via what we're seeing and we get mathematical relations and you know the idea of six comes from the groups of the six groups of things that we do see and that's how we get those concepts those concepts and those relations is via what we are seeing and then the rationalist idea is the idea that mathematical concepts 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 and relations are via like are from ideas the relations of ideas that um where the things that were our perception of mathematics and mathematical concepts and concepts and relations are from um they're from uh that's more of a more of a the uh, successors of Plato, where we have these, it's not so cut and dry like that, but it's it's less based upon what we're seeing, but it's more based upon the fact that there's a certain um, head, a bunch of concepts in, in, in mathematics, and the relations between them, um, you know, is, you know, gives, gives us a certain version, and, um, we have to interpret well the, the the rationalist view is that we have to interpret um how we're seeing this via what the real thing is the real concepts are and we have um like Leibniz and Descartes and uh Isaac Isaac Newton who are actually do, who actually you know do this sort of ma uh, m mathematics like Leibniz and Newton, they, you know, did calculus and stuff like that, which um, was actually the doing of that, of this kind of mathematics. And I guess my th the thing I'm, I'm thinking about here is that, like, first of all, if you're going to think about the things that you're seeing, this is a, a classic idea, classic question of philosophy is, is what you're seeing... Um, something that is to be interpreted via, interpreted via something that's beyond yourself, or it should be should should be interpreted by a way of, you know, just what you see, and you should be interpreting it just because of what you see and going from there, rather than thinking about something else as being the top, the um, the thing that's you know. Um, deciding what you are actually seeing and showing different 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 versions of itself, um, but that's just um, a, a very simplified idea of what rationalists thought about with with respect to mathematics as well as respect to other things, uh, because Leibniz and Malebranche and Descartes had. Um, discussions in in metaphysics too and you know the rationalist thing the rationalist the rationalist idea came in that way too um, but I guess um, what would be your thought um, would you think that we should be interpreting it because of through our immediate experience or through 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 something something different and with with respect to mathematics like if I think about six, I'm thinking about different groups of, you know, the way I, the way I have, the way I have been been presented with the concept of six, is I see groups of six apples, group of six, um, group of groups of six books and all those things, and I was taught from, from when I was a child, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, and through those numbers I get, you know, groups of six and um things like things like that and I guess what I'm wondering is should should we you know 
not considering Kant's idea of mathematics yet, and if we're if we're in the time you know before Kant's critical years, should we be viewing mathematics in the imperious empiricist attitude where we um, are looking at you know these different concepts and relations that we already know as things that come from the, the, the things we see or <clears throat> is there something bigger than what, than what we're just seeing but my idea is that, is, that, is that the empiricist idea is the better way to go because first of all I don't think that reason and logic should be the first thing that we should be looking at I think first of all we should be looking at what what is what is right in front of us, you know the 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 things that we see all the time, and the problems that we get uh, that, that we get out of it, and the, those problems and those all the philosophy and stuff like that with with everything that, the, with everything everything that we're seeing, we should be using reason and logic second, you know second to figure out things like, you know to figure out, or I mean to go about how we. Um, create arguments and um, discuss things and all that and all that stuff, but it shouldn't be the first thing. It shouldn't be reason and logic should, should be something the way that we formulate, you know, the way we communicate and the way that we argue, but not how we see the world, because we already have a way of seeing the world. We see the world already. And we know, you know, what's there. And how we came about that is through um, what our parents taught us and acculturation. And that's how we know these things. Now, uh, the question is that, is that, is, 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 is how we learned everything from infanthood, is that, you know, through reason and logic? Or is it more from what we're seeing? That's, that's, that, that's, that, that's a different question. But the question... I think that is necessary is should we be looking at things now not considering how we think think these certain ways is how is should we be looking at things through the lens of reason and logic or should we be looking at the lens through the lens that we already have through through immediate experience um now I would say definitely immediate immediate experience because reason and logic is a it's very very important. I will not argue with that, but it's something that comes when we're trying to formulate a sentence, formulate you know communication and figure out um, how we're gonna you know say a, say a certain thing in our and persuasion and argument and, th and th th things like that. Um, and it's, I think reason and logic is a <clears throat> it's something that formulates the way with the way we think too. Um, but I think that we should be looking at things through the lens that we already have first, and that I think is how we should better look at mathematics too because I think if we use the same empiricist attitude it's not only not only through epistemological and metaphysical and other philosophical problems and not only philosophical problems we should be using that same lens that we already have through problems in mathematics and the philosophy of mathematics because I think if we do that we can see how we have certain how we how we view certain you know sets and um, relations and concepts because I think that those relations and concepts those those relations and concepts that, that we learn from 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 infanthood are um, are not conflicting with what we're immediately seeing they're, they are not they are not conflicting with the um, the lens that we already have that the uh, empiricists that the empiricists always used. So that's what I'm thinking. That if we sort of just use that same one that we already have, then we'll then we'll be able to figure out these certain problems. And I'm not saying that we should not that we should not use reason or logic. We should, 
but not as a first thing. What we already have in front of us is what should be used as our first um, uh, first source of, of evidence for certain concepts and concepts and concepts and relations and those things should be used in arguments in these kind of uh, um, philosophies. So I don't know. I just I'm think I'm thinking about this because I'm kind of reading it this and I'm thinking about stuff that happened before Kant published his his three his three critical critical, critical works. I'm thinking about modern philosophy here. Um, and the what philosophy of mathematics was then, and the two schools, rationalism and empiricism, and I'm thinking about that stuff w with respect to philosophy of mathematics, and that's kind of what I'm thinking about because I think it's, a, it's something that I should have that uh, that I should address before jumping into Kant's trans transcendental aesthetic because that's a that's a you know something that I will do soon. So um, yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, um, I, I don't know, I just, uh, if you, if you have a opinion on this, then please, please, please share it, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely interested in, interested in that, um, but mostly, um, I was reading this book, which is kind of how I, um, Wanted to, this this is what this book is kind of what what made me want to discuss this because he he has he has this little introduction to his chapter on Kant and Mill and philosophy of mathematics so I don't know that his little preface to that one kind of made kind of made me want to want to discuss the modern the the modern stuff first in 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 brief in brief brief detail so yeah. Um, I'm going to do a discussion on Kant's transcendental aesthetic here too um, in, a, in, in a different in a different video and um, all right I'll uh, definitely see you then.